In our previous video, we built the stairs, the steps on the outside, and now the forms have been removed. Well, all the forms have been removed. And now we can actually climb up the steps. So I'm going for a run up these steps for the first time. That's a lot easier than the ladder. In our previous video, the pillars were extended to their correct height so that the beams can be added. And that's what's going on this week. Well, the beams are going up now for the roof of the veranda. Just putting the steels in and getting the forms ready for the next big pour. It's been a fairly hot, tough week here videoing because you know what they say, life gets in the way. Well, I had my Portuguese exam and then the cat was sick. So the cat was very ill for a few days. Here he goes from being the happiest cat to the most sad and miserable cat. But anyway, he's on the mend. But the good news is there's been progress while we're away. So between gaps in my day, I've come over. And first of all, they started using these thermal blocks so that they can build the guest bedroom and guest bathroom. The eagle-eyed amongst you might have noticed that the concrete has been removed from this wall to reveal the fantastic original schist wall. 
out here was all covered. This was a, it was covered by a concrete block um, rabbit hutch. Um, but now that it is removed, it is stunning. It, it blends into the the new stone wall behind us. No, nope. in front of you. <laughs> in front of me. It blends into the new stone wall in front of me. And yeah, there's still a bit more work to do on this to make it look beautiful really beautiful there are some holes to fill in here and there and some repairs to do on this wall but it's going to look fabulous when it is uh, finished This is a wall for the bathroom and the guest bedroom. So we're on top of the veranda here. And you can see, well, yesterday I had an exam, Portuguese exam. So I wasn't here, just dropped the coffee over in the morning. And yeah, you can see all that's been done. These blocks are kind of a pink color and they're thermal blocks made with leca and cement. So if I go back, if I walk, if I walk into the kitchen and then look back, you'll see where we are on the veranda. So this part is what's actually left of the veranda now. A um, little bit less because this wall will be built again in schist. If we just look over here, so the schist will be filled out again to here. Window that had been closed up is now a window. So this is, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this view now from the guest room. Because I'm thinking it could be our room. So I'll let you see what it looks like I'm walking through the door. And here we are. So I'm sort of thinking maybe we should change our bedroom to here. <laughs> anyway, there's plenty of time to make those choices for ourselves. Maybe this will be our summer bedroom or our winter bedroom. Who knows? It's all starting to feel a lot more enclosed with the forms for the beams going in to support the roof. Uh, all the way around here. And then of course we have the walls. So the veranda of course will only be from here to here. All that wee jingling noises, the guys are on their tea break, um, coffee break. So all this space here now is a lot more usable than it was before. Uh, you can see you know, that there's actually room for things. Whereas before we used to be tucked up along a table here at the edge and unable to use that entire section behind me because it was a walkway from the stairs. So here are the stairs now leading down, straight down from the kitchen and then eventually over here into the vegetable garden out here onto the Ira and we can sort of see everything and we've now had a look at this wall and we've decided it's going to come down at least three courses but as we said before we're not actually going to do anything until the build is complete because there are a lot of jobs that we'll have to finish once the builders have gone uh, our aim is to get in here in as basic uh, condition as possible and complete the rest ourselves. These are the beams that are going in, ridge wall, sorry, the ridge wall, gable end, and the other gable end hasn't got very far to go.
So we're right up to above the windows and doors now. And it's really starting to take shape. But let's go up the stairs and I'll show you that now. So we've been to see the granite steps that we spotted in a field and we're still in negotiations, shall we say, with the owner of said granite steps. But today a box arrived in the post and we have these. And we're going to go up and have a look and see what these look like on the veranda. So these tiles are handmade in Portugal. Down in the Algarve, there's a small little family run factory making these tiles by hand out of old wooden molds. These are handmade out of clay. They don't all come out the same color. We have sent us three tiles so we can have a look and see what, the, what sort of variation in size and color we can expect. And if we think that's gonna go with our our building and we want to see if they're going to fit with our uh, project here with our stone house so we're going to have a look at them they're kind of going to go on the veranda here I haven't quite decided on the how we're going to lay them we are thinking of herringbone oh that's, yeah that's why we've chosen those ones so what do you think? I think they look really good against the stone. I wonder which way they would go. I wish we had more so I could play. So the, the, the next one would be here and then here. Maybe, or maybe the line will have to go like that. So it's pointing in a particular direction or maybe it should be pointing up the step steps you know what i mean dan mm -hmm. what do you guys think what do you think if we decide to go with these which i think we're kind of sold on now i mean who cares as long as we have tiles no kitchen but a tile tiles it's all about getting our priorities wrong <laughs> But these are the nicest we found and at a reasonable price. It's something when we put a floor down, it's going to be done once. We're not replacing floors in years to come. What we have, we'll live with. And hopefully more people beyond us will be able to live with them too. So Dan and I have only ever lived in rented accommodation and this is our first time shopping for something that's going to go in our house so we get control over what goes into the fixtures and fittings oh oh great right we'll leave these here and we can show Pedro, what he's going to be faced with, because these will all have to be um, sealed and we want to get that right as well and choose some sort of grout, don't you think? Okay, right. Well, in the last couple of weeks, 
the pillars have been built up to the correct height. They've run the string lines for the roof so we know where, so they know where the correct height is. And the shuttering has all come off and they've put on the, uh, splattered on the pre kind of coat before they render all of the pillars. So we're actually a week ahead of building to the videos but there hasn't been any work going on this week. It's been raining and the guys have been off doing another job. So there won't be a video next week because we don't really have much footage to show you. We're carrying on with work in the garden. I've had a few weeks at home now, which has been absolutely fantastic to spend time with Maraid, time in the garden and just relax a bit. And Maraid's been keeping the show together while I've been away. She's been making the decisions with the builders, dealing with everything going on here. The cat was ill, the, oh, there was decisions to be made about the roof, all sorts of things going on. So as Dan said, there's been no work here on site in the last week, and that's just worked out perfectly because I've been off to Porto with my schoolmates on a school trip and yeah, had a lovely day in Porto. So we went to the Sandy Man Caves and yeah, it was just an absolutely amazing tour. I've been here on site almost every single day and I'm kind of glad of a little break and we might take a couple of weeks break um, to get a week away from cameras, just doing our own thing and really enjoying the garden at this time. Yeah, so what were you gonna say? So I, I got to drink some nice port as well. That Last Marie night. Brought, <laughs> brought back. Yeah, and I bought these um, Elvish, uh, what are they called? Amisha Delvish, which are green gauges, Portuguese speciality, uh, soaked in sugar for six weeks. And the only time I'd ever heard of them is that they were sold in Fortnum and Mason in London. I've never had them before, but I saw them in this little market in Porto. So I brought a few home last night and we had that with a glass of port. And they are beautiful. Yeah, so now that we've got the green gauges, both of them are growing. Uh, we'll have an attempt at making that sometime in the future whenever we get fruit. <laughs> we'll make nearby veggies plums. <laughs> So the guys have been setting up the roof lines, running string lines along so we can see where the roof sits. And you can see this beam behind me is not horizontal. And that's because the house is, it gets much wider at this end. I think it's five meters wider at this end of the house. So that means that the roof has to be lower at this corner otherwise you can't keep the same angle all the way along the roof this roof is very complex the builders have been taking a bit of time over setting this up the architect's been over to see how they've done it and just um, agree with the changes that they've made in order to make it work with the shape and the size of the house this space here is the office but over there in front of me is a small back veranda and this is where the roof has to come down at a different angle to the rest of the roof see the string line there behind me and that is the the bottom point of the roof here so the next stage is pouring the beams and then it will not be long until the roof is going on so hit the subscribe button it is free to follow along and keep up to date with our stone house restoration 